Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing kind of a first impressions slash review on solid shampoo and conditioner bars. This is my first time trying solid hair products, so I was really excited to try these out because I've been wanting to try this brand specifically for quite a while, and they actually ended up sending these to me. So obviously I'm very grateful for that. This video is not sponsored in any way. I'm giving you guys my real honest opinions, but this is just a first impression. So we are just gonna go ahead and jump straight into it, but don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe down below, of course, if you have not already. Um, you can also come give me a follow over on Instagram and Twitter as well. They are linked in my description box. And I'm just gonna share with you guys the products that are the subject of today's video. So. We've got the High Bar Solid Shampoo and Conditioner. They come in these really cute little cardboard paper packages and then they come also in these little like paper things on the inside. And then here you have the bar. This one is the shampoo. I will of course do a close-up shot for you guys. And then also here is the conditioner. They're a little bit damp right now because I just used these today. I do want to show you guys a little demo and then I do hop on afterwards and kind of give you guys my immediate thoughts and then also what I think after my hair is dry. So obviously the main goal of this brand and lots of other brands that do solid um, hair products or solid products in general is for the least amount of waste possible. Um, there is no like plastic bottle involved with solid shampoo and conditioner. So if you're interested in switching over to like waste-free products, this is definitely something that you might wanna consider. On the back of the packaging, it says these products have no parabens, sulfates, silicone, flatlates, or cruelty. So if you have curly or wavy hair or you're on the curly girl method, that might be something that you're interested in, the fact that there are no sulfates or silicones in these products. I will just say I have been wanting to do a video like this for so long where I talk about solid beauty products and I considered doing the Lush solid shampoo and conditioners, but I did look into those a little bit and looked at the ingredients and I didn't want to get something that I knew I probably wasn't going to like. So I just kind of felt like from what I heard overall, those just weren't the best option. And then I stumbled across this brand on Instagram, a hairstylist that I actually follow that specializes in curly and wavy hair, talked about this brand and said how much she loved it. And I looked at the reviews and I looked into the products and they just looked really great compared to a lot of the solid shampoo and conditioner bars that are out there. So like I said, I've been wanting to try these out for a long time. And one thing I do wanna mention about these specifically is the shape you'll notice that most shampoo and conditioner bars just have like a square or round shape and these have a very specific interesting shape and i believe it is specifically so that they fit into your hand very comfortably and they're very easy to apply and you don't have like a slippery odd shaped bar that you're trying to do your hair with in the showers. So I did find these very nice for that. While I was applying them, I found them super easy to hold and like apply the product. It wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't feel like it was gonna fall out of my hand. So that was definitely a plus. Keep in mind, I haven't tried any other shampoo or conditioner bars. So this was my first experience, but in that sense, I found it really easy to use. And you guys will see in the demo, like how nicely the shampoo lathers up and so i have to give it a plus you guys will see in the demo how nicely the she So I just got out of the shower, I tied my hair up, 
and a t-shirt just to kind of get rid of the excess water in my hair um, and then I am going to do a little bit of product. I know some people don't like when you add a product when you are using just the shampoo and conditioner for the first time because I know people like to say that you are not seeing the true results or whatever but I personally do use a product to style my hair after I wash it pretty much every time um, when I am styling it naturally and that is what I do most of the time. So I do want to show you guys what it looks like when I do my hair on a regular basis if that makes sense. I'm going to use the Verb Curl Cream. I've talked about this on my channel before and I use it a lot so I'm going to know how it would perform on a regular basis. I have to say right off the bat I am really really impressed with the feel that these shampoo and conditioner bars gave to my hair. I will say you do have to spend a little bit more time at least for me the first time doing this I did have to spend a little bit more time working the product into the hair I found what worked best was to hold the bar under warm water just for a little bit and then go in on top of having wet hair and like rub it onto your scalp or with the conditioner bar you'd be rubbing it more onto the lengths of your hair which I do have really short hair um, and I do like to add some conditioner to the roots the conditioner bar did take a little bit longer um, to do its thing than the shampoo bar, but it does make sense because it is a solid and on the back of the conditioner packaging, it says, be patient, high bar doesn't drown your hair like liquid conditioners, which totally makes sense. But I am used to using a lot of conditioner on my hair since I do have naturally wavy hair and it does need that extra moisture and love to give me the definition and the bounce that just looks best on my hair. So I was a little worried at first that it wasn't gonna be enough, but I did find that it ended up adding a really great slip and smoothness to my hair, more so than I thought, which I was really impressed by because when I went through it with a wide tooth comb, it was actually so smooth and it felt very moisturized and hydrated, but I did end up really liking it. So for the shampoo bar, I noticed that it did lather up really nicely. It was a very smooth, creamy lather and I loved the way that it felt on my scalp. It was almost like a little bit of a tingly feeling that made it feel really clean and refreshed. And I'm sure that is due to the citrus peel oils in these products. I'm not 100% sure if they all have that in them, but the Maintain Shampoo and the Moisturize Conditioner both have the citrus peel oils in them and I love the way that it felt, especially with the shampoo on my scalp. It just felt so clean, but it was nothing overpowering or strong or burning or anything like that. It was just like a light, kind of clean, tingly feeling and I still kind of feel it on my scalp. And it's so refreshed and feels so clean and I just absolutely love that. I'm going to take my hair out of this t-shirt now since I've been blabbing forever. And I'm just gonna kind of scrunch a little bit. I have to say, my hair feels really, really soft right now, um, more than it usually does. It doesn't feel like there's any like buildup in my hair. Like it really feels like the Maintain Shampoo really cleaned my hair and my scalp, but also moisturized it and didn't like strip it, if that makes sense. I am hoping that this doesn't affect the way my waves look because sometimes when a shampoo and conditioner is really like hydrating and um, leaves your hair feeling really soft. It can give you a little bit less definition because there's no like grip there So we're gonna see how it works on my hair But I do have to say I'm loving the way my hair feels and that might be enough To get me to keep using it verb curl cream. I'm just gonna do a Little bit of this. This is what it looks like on my hands when I rub it together and I am just going to smooth it over the lengths of my hair and then go ahead and start scrunching it in. And this is the product that I use the majority of the time. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash the excess product off of my hands and let my hair dry. I'm gonna probably go walk outside because it's really beautiful. And of course I will come back and give you guys my thoughts on how I feel like these solid bars worked um, for the first time using them and I will be back. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you my final thoughts with my hair completely dry. I just scrunched it a little bit more and it is completely dry at this point. Um, first thing that I notice with the dry hair, like I mentioned earlier, when my hair was still damp, my hair feels very, very soft, very fluffy and smooth and that maintained like the entire time that my hair was drying. 
it feels very light. Like I definitely feel like that shampoo removed any buildup that I might have had on my scalp, kind of like a clarifying shampoo almost. Um, and I really enjoyed that. The thing with very soft, fluffy hair that I mentioned earlier is that you might have to sacrifice a little bit when it comes to definition if you have wavy hair. But honestly, from what I can tell right now, I feel like my hair is very bouncy and it has good volume. I've got definition with my waves and I even have some parts of my hair that are more coily than normal, which is very interesting um, because I just didn't really expect it to be honest. I will say my waves are a lot more soft and touchable. Like it doesn't feel like there's any product in my hair, even though I did use a styler. So it might be a little bit harder to maintain these waves and this definition overnight. Um, I don't traditionally sleep with my hair in a wrap or in like a pineapple since I do have very short hair and so I usually just kind of let it do its thing but specifically styled with the shampoo and conditioner I think it might not be as well on second day hair I'm just going to assume that um, I do want to actually try doing my hair in like a silk wrap for overnight I don't own one so I haven't been able to do that but I definitely want to try that because I do feel like it would make a difference in the way my curls or waves are maintained overnight. I did feel like the conditioner added a lot of slip and moisture, but it wasn't heavy and it wasn't weighing down my hair at all. So I feel like that kind of also helped maintain like the light, soft bounciness of my hair. I don't know that I would use it every wash. I also don't know that I would use the shampoo every wash simply because I feel like it does help remove buildup and it really, really cleanses the hair without leaving it squeaky clean. But it also, I do like sometimes to have some grip and texture to my hair just to keep that wave definition, especially overnight, like I mentioned. In conclusion with that, I do really like these, but I think I would use them probably every other wash or maybe every few washes. I would be really interested to see how these pair with an, a different product so for instance using the solid shampoo and then using my regular conditioner or vice versa i would be really interested to see how that would work together but i do think that these products do work really good together and obviously if you're wanting to move to like sustainable products and package free plastic free um, products you're probably not going to want to keep your other products so you're probably going to be using only these um which i totally understand i'm just speaking from like an experimental mind so i'm not going to ramble on about these because i feel like this video is getting kind of long i just wanted to give you guys like my initial thoughts on everything do keep in mind this is my first initial impression trying these and i haven't tried them for weeks on end so like i mentioned i can totally give you guys an update in an upcoming video let me know in the comments i would be happy to do that but yeah, I feel like overall I am pleased with the results and I'm obsessed with the feel of my hair and just like how light it feels and like I can touch my hair and I don't feel like it's gonna get product on my hands if that makes sense, which I do tend to have a decent amount of product in my hair and it tends to have a bit of a grip to it. So I'm really impressed with how soft it left my hair um, without me having to sacrifice the wave definition. So yeah, um, I think that is everything. I honestly would recommend these to you guys, especially since they have different types of bars for different hair types or what your needs are. I would definitely recommend trying them out, giving them a chance because I do think even though I haven't tried any others, these are probably some of the better ones on the market, even just based on what I've heard from people and like what people expect out of a shampoo and conditioner bar. I really just thought that these almost surpassed my expectations and they do smell really nice. They have like a citrusy, fresh, kind of very light smell, nothing too overpowering or intense if you don't like a lot of scent. So I really enjoyed that, but yes, I'm going to stop rambling now. That's everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it helped you out maybe if you've been looking into products like this. Let me know what videos you guys want to see from me next. I feel like I ask this all the time and um, I just kind of like do whatever because I don't always get a ton of feedback. But let me know what you guys want to see. Um, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!